Good Marks Goods here, and today I'm presenting to you all a 1847 Rogers teapot that I paid eight bucks plus shipping through a Goodwill site, and it is the Marquee pattern. 1847 Rogers Marquee. It's uh, one of the rare patterns, and it would this teapot would be collectible had it not sustained damage and I think that they there was some damage that was showing in the pictures but they didn't like showcase it you know like they took a picture mostly of the front you see like a little bit right here I couldn't tell but look at um well I wanted to give this a uh, piece of a little bit of a a, um, a farewell because I don't know if I can sell it and I don't know if I can repair it either because see something scratched it, the sh silver down and it's kind of a this piece is kind of also kind of important for to me for from like research standpoints because so y'all know that i i'm interested in in the in the plating the, the silver plating on the piece but look at that i wonder how well, i wonder what I've, what actually did this to the to it because i don't see many pieces like this it looks almost like someone filed it down with with an uh a steel file or something like what why why would they do that or if it didn't happen if it happened like in shipping or something how the heck did that happen i just don't don't understand what someone was thinking and they did it to this piece but anyway yeah um be collectible if it were still if it were um in great shape could find only like two two of these on online right now one part of one was part of a a three-piece set with the creamer and sugar bowl and they won 194 i think that's that's pretty fair and i would normally have wanted like 60 bucks for this and it would have been like a 50 or 40 dollar flip but yeah i don't know i don't know what to do with this now i would like to sell it but i don't think so and i'm kind of like my storage capacity for, for something like this, if I can't repair it, is kind of... Well, that storage capacity is minimal. Let's look at this. Look at the damage a bit more, guys. So this is kind of cool. Cause it's almost like an anatomy lesson on silver plate for me. Because you all can see how... Um, how uh, prominent the base metal is that you're showing here we can kind of tell how plate how thick the plating is by like trying to guess and uh, clearly we can see kind of like a zinc kind of alloy I don't know Copper, copper nickel is was an alloy that these people possibly could have um, could have utilized that um, that they created because it it kind of had a similar quality and looked as silver and this could be it too if that was the case they would a lot of pieces are marked electroplated nickel silver if the base metal is a nickel silver which is a copper nickel maybe it had a little bit of tin in it mostly copper or nickel and zinc I believe it had a lot of zinc yeah. well, I just thought it was cool we'll get the um, 
it's pretty elaborate and ornate for a one of a a silver plated piece by a rock 1847 rogers bros anyway that's it for this video this piece has kind of got me a little stumped i like it it's beautiful but now i don't know what to do with it wanted to sell it I don't have much storage space for extra pieces that would just stay around because just to hoard and keep at this point so I might just try to sell it off as, for a fire sale get get like ten dollars back for it and let people know that it's highly damaged or um, could scrap it as well try to um, pick off the rest of the silver you guys have any um, suggestions for the fate of this piece and how much do you think it's worth in this current condition given that it's still beautiful but has major cosmetic imperfections and I don't get many pieces in that could be categorized this way beautiful condition except for some aesthetic flaws. All right.